Afternoon. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. So we did not make it to the gym this morning. We've been waiting on the 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 contractor to come. Basically, my uh, pump house sprung a leak. It's just a small one. Nothing wrong with the tank. The tank was still great. Um, but basically, the oops, Panda's doing business here. The uh, pressure release valve um, was just kind of locked in an open position to relieve pressure and once it relieved enough air pressure then it started relieving water so I've been running water continuously um, since sometime last night um, I had gone out late to check and make sure that my uh, my heat lamp that I keep in there was still active and that I didn't need to replace the bulbs or anything because we were going to have that freeze last night and there was absolutely nothing wrong with the heat lamp um, and it was uh, hang on just a second panda's taken off Sorry about that. Um, yeah, see, I don't know if you can see her. She's right there. She came back. Um, anyway, the uh, once it got rid of air pressure, it was relieving water. It wasn't a huge leak, and uh, it was leaking before the freeze, so last night's freeze didn't cause the problem. Um, if anything, it probably helped it. You know, you have a freeze and you let your sink strain. Yeah, my pump house was doing that naturally. Um, I, I still had water in the house. I was able to keep my faucets dripping last night, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it was all good. They came and fixed it. Um, it was basically, they had to replace the, the, the valve and the pressure sensor because um, the pressure sensor was not faulty. And that's why it was keeping it in the open position. I know, Miss Panda's such a good girl. Um, and uh, anyway, so, you know, $170 later. Pump house is good. Everything else in there looks fine. They, they, you know, looked at it while they were in there. You know, while you're here, everything else looks good. Doesn't look like anything is, you know, due to fail or, or rusted to fail. Um, life is sweet. It's still a little windy today. Um, after last night's cold, depending upon where you look, some things in the garden are awesome. Uh, my woolly lambs here. They're still just, you know perky and happy. My rose is still perky and happy. Um, the mint is still perky and happy. The uh, cilantro here, eh, it's still kind of droopy. Um, cilantro doesn't like excessive cold. Um, same thing with my parsley. It's kind of droopy. And otherwise, most things are coming back. As it warms up, they're coming back. My yarrow has almost all come back. Still a little droopy on some of them. But most of them have come back, you know. Yeah. So it doesn't look like I lost anything up here in the flower garden. No, I've not been back to the, the vegetable garden yet because it's still a little too chilly for me. Um, but I do have, <laughs> down so you can see them all, an awesome row of mushrooms. Kind of following the rock path all the way up. You know? Don't ask me why. <laughs> Rain, snow, freeze, and I have mushrooms. Alright, well y'all have an awesome day. Miss Panda and I will talk to you later. You miss Panda. She took off that way. She saw something and was like, I'm gone, Mom. It's like, okay. You know. Um, so anyway, we've hit our max today of 55. That's where we're at right now. So what I figured I would do is come over here and get these irises out. I don't know if you can see it. There's, there's one there. You know, kind of, the, you can see them sticking out there. There's one there, there's one there, and then there's another back here somewhere. There he is. We'll be right back there. So there's three irises that are stuck here in the middle of my day lilies. Um, uh, anyway, it's past time to get them out. And I also told a friend I would gift them some day lilies. And so any day lilies that I happen to dig out while I'm removing these three irises will be gifted. Not a long project, not a deep project, but since we're not going to get any higher than 55, might be a great little project to just kind of sit here and do, you know, not be too hot, not be too cold. Get it done before everything starts to bloom. So, let me go on and get busy.